Developing right now, a suspected serial rapist is charged. A man allegedly serving time for a heinous crime in Maryland is now being linked to the sex assaults of two young girls in the district and Prince George's County. News Force Paul Wagner joins us now live this evening with how investigators were able to connect the suspect to the crimes committed more than a decade ago. Paul? Well, Jim, these were two terrifying attacks that occurred within a month of each other back in 2011 in Prince George's County in Oxon Hill and in the Stanton Park area of Washington, D.C. And for 11 years, D.C. police and Prince George's County police had no idea who they were looking for until advances in DNA technology changed everything. The two D.C. detectives who worked the case say they never gave up and continue to have the evidence in the case tested over and over again. I'm thrilled. Uh, like the commander said, we've been working on this case off and on for 11 years. And to have some work I did in 2011 come to fruition is outstanding. I couldn't be happier. The way D.C. police explain it, detectives only had a partial DNA profile of the rapist until recently when advances in DNA technology were able to find a full profile. And when it was uploaded into an FBI database, there was a match with a man named Alfonso Owens. It's the only reason that this case closed is just because the, the, you can multiply or magnify the, the samples so much more than you could in 2011. Owens is now accused of raping an 11-year-old girl in the Fort Stanton area of Southeast in October of 2011. Just the month before, police say Owens also raped a 10-year-old girl in Oxon Hill after breaking into her apartment bedroom in the middle of the night. The day after it happened, while concealing her identity, News 4 spoke with the girl's grandmother. I'm just all, all upset about it because I feel like I were here and I didn't hear anything. And that hurts me more than anything, that I wouldn't, wasn't able to do anything to help her. Alfonso Owens was indicted by a D.C. Superior Court grand jury back in July. And earlier this week, he was indicted by a grand jury in Prince George's County. Owens was convicted in 2016 for a 2015 home invasion and sexual assault in Baltimore. He received two life terms in prison. Now, Alfonso Owens is not in prison. That's because he's here in the District of Columbia and went before a D.C. Superior Court judge for an arraignment earlier today where he pled not guilty and was ordered held without bond. Outside D.C. Police Headquarters, Paul Wagner, News 4.